Carol uh, Morshing, class of 2009, please come forward to receive the Decade Award. This award honors a 2009 alumna who is recognized by her peers as a great role model and leader for younger alumnae because of her outstanding achievements representing global consciousness and community involvement in her chosen profession. is on a constant quest to push the boundaries of her comfort zone in order to make an impact. After growing up on a farm in rural Minnesota where her first car was a giant tractor, she attended St. Ben's where she completed a May term in Spain, semesters abroad in Guatemala and Venezuela, and additional programs in China and Dubai before moving to Mexico for a Latin American business development lead job after graduation. She then returned to Spain for an MBA at IE Business School, one of the world's top business schools, where she focused on strategy and corporate finance. She's currently living in Singapore as a Southeast Asia business development manager for 3M's healthcare team. Woo. Yeah, go oh, girl. In spite of all of the boundary pushing, it's this award for her accomplishments over the past decade that makes Andrea feel at the edge of that comfort zone. She sounds like so many of us when she says, I would normally prefer not to be in the spotlight. <laughs> I am so honored and humbled by this award, but I know there are so many other Bennies who deserve this and who are doing incredible things. But then Andrea catches herself and acknowledges that it's so hard for women to own their accomplishments yes. and keep reaching for more ways to make an impact. <laughs> she continues, I have had so many people who inspired me and invested in me and believed in me along the way. And then, and this is the hard part for many women to say, I delivered results. I made an impact. I don't want other women, especially Bennies, to go around silently performing and not talking about it. It's so important that we talk about it and tell our stories and tell each other's stories and encourage each other. That is a message that needs to be heard. Because of course, the more we talk about it, the more we feel inspired and empowered to reach higher. As Andrea puts it, take a leap, take a risk. Even if I don't have all the answers, but I believe I can make a positive impact toward the company's mission or goals, I will be willing to dive in, figure it out, find best practices, and ask for help. Andrea talks the talk but she also walks the walk. As part of the eScholars program at St. Ben's, Andrea founded Extending the Link, a program that empowers students to highlight global, undertold stories through documentary filmmaking. She broke new ground, figuring out how to structure the business model as she went along. When it came time to apply for and participate in one of the most competitive grant programs in the world, graduate programs, excuse me, she was told to wait until she was older. That's a mistake. <laughs> so rather than agreeing, Andrea politely asked for reconsideration, knowing she could add value to the classroom and the institution right away. IE Business School let her in and she delivered. In her years after graduating from St. Ben's, Andrea also made an impact by serving on a nonprofit board of directors for an organization called Luminarias that connects vulnerable Guatemalan girls to educational opportunities. You too can have an impact by being bold enough to share your story and inspire others. 
just like so many people have done along the way for Andrea. And just like she hopes to do for you. When you do, the comfort zone you're left with will certainly be larger than the one you began with. Andrea, please accept this award on our behalf. Thank you. I didn't expect to cry. It's so emotional, it's so cool to be here. So many inspirational stories. Um, I just wanted to thank everyone, thank the institution for this award and for the people who nominated me. Um, we love St. Thomas through and through. Um, it's awesome to be a nominated and then win an award that shows that you're reflective of what could be a good role model for St. Thomas. I know many people in this room and I saw in the back of the list of people who are nominated for this award. I also nominated someone else for this award. <laughs> so I know people are doing really awesome, awesome things. Um, Valerie let off, read off many things that I had accomplished, and it is difficult. It's not easy to mention what you've done. So like Valerie mentioned, I, after graduating from St. Thomas, worked for a Fortune 1000 company, down in Mexico and helped them expand into a panel in Brazil, then did my MBA over in Spain, focused on strategy and corporate finance, then did some consulting work down in South Africa, got picked up by a Fortune 100 company, um, and then helped manage and um, make hundreds of millions of dollars for this company, and then developed teams along the way, and then jumped on the board of a nonprofit. So that's kind of a little bit about what I did. It's not easy to talk about. I don't know why it doesn't, but we do need to talk about it. Um, how I did it, I had a lot of awesome mentors and mentee programs. Just also a shout out for the Safe Beds program, for the mentors and mentees program. That's fantastic. Um, and then looking forward, I've kind of got two asks, and it's not just for the class of 2009, my class, but for all of us here tonight. Um, my two asks, or my two messages are, um, when we look, excuse me, for the last 10 years, our, looking forward to our next 10 years may be very, very different. I know for our classes, we're having children, our bodies are changing. Our passions are changing, we're developing, we're experiencing great new loves of life, but we're also experiencing loss, loss of grandparents, loss of parents. The years are gonna look very different. So well, one of my asks is that everyone here just takes care of themselves so that they can really give back to their private priorities that they love. And then my second request is to talk about it. Talk about it. talk about the milestones that we make, um, the goals that we, we achieve, because along the way, as we experience these other difficult things, maybe in our next years, we find inspiration from us here in this room. So thank you, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.